Get involved in your community. People today have busy lives, and many say they don't have time to volunteer. These adult literacy students make time to help their communities. Let's hear how they gain even more than they give. I live in San Jose, and I belong to a church, and we have um, kids that lived around our church in the trailer parks and different areas that um, some of them didn't have, their parents couldn't help them with their, um, with their homework. And so, and a lot of them lived a little farther away from our church. And so I went and asked, could I get into involved in learning to get to drive the bus? And so we have like two vans at our church and they were just sitting there on, and only would be moved on Sunday or if they were gonna go out of town. And so I got insured and, um, and got things together. So I start picking up kids for, and bring them over to our church so they could um, learn, get their homework done. They became very good students. They all run up to me and tell me thank you for uh, helping them at that time. I volunteer at the, at the program that the library has, house calls, bringing books to the homebound. So that's what I've been doing for about four years for people who cannot come to the library to get books. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Jim. Nice to see you again. I'm bringing your books yeah. for you to enjoy them. And, you know, they don't feel isolated that they know that the next week I'm coming over again. And how are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. They called for volunteers to help out in the clubhouse. Uh, most of them are seniors and they don't have the ability to do any heavy lifting, so I decided to step in and volunteer. I help uh, reading to, uh, to the elementary school in special occasion. For example, I read like an open house or story time. One day we, I was talking with my neighbors and we noticed that we, didn't, we don't have a playground for our kids in our community. And they decided to form a committee. And I start joining the meetings every month because I like this idea for our neighborhood. It's going to be great um, in safety for, for our children and also to be all community members to be able to know each other. Volunteering putting it all out in the open. You don't care what it's about. You just want to help out. It's like I used to be on the uh, food program where we went in and fed people, you know, took it to their house and stuff like that. And that was wonderful. And I think it's very important to make our voice heard because nobody is going to talk uh, for us. So we have to speak for us and for our children. That's what I want to do for my community because my community has done so much for my family. I want to give a good example for my child to get involved. Our community represents us and we represent our community. And the reward is the good feeling of knowing you're accomplishing something for someone else. You know, everyone can help. And then if you want to join in, can I help you? Yeah, come on, you know. And that's how I get started. And then somebody else, another neighbor, another neighbor, hey, and look, next thing you know, we got everybody in the block. So when you start having confidence in yourself and the light starts to shine, then before you know it, we have a bunch of comets flying around here because, <laughs> because you've just, you know, you've blossomed and you've got people jumping off of you, you're jumping off of other people. If I could volunteer 24 seven, I think I would. You get to find out who you are when you're giving. The benefits that I got from be a volunteer is I have more connections and I more I know more people and I also have more goals in my life. There's nothing wrong with that. Thank you. I think volunteering helped me feel more reliable, more responsible. If you do it from your heart, you're gonna grow. Life is gonna be a different place to walk in. I feel great inside out. I feel like I can do something I never do before. You you get so much joy um, volunteering because it brings something out of you that you might, you know it was in you, but it never came out. Everybody has something to offer. Everybody has something to give. And that's why I'm telling every person, if they have the ability to help, 
go and help because you're going to make a big difference in people's life. It's never too late to get started. You can start right now, right this day, right this minute. I think the first time when I had the courage to do it, I now I, I can stop. So I just, every time I look for opportunities to help. California Library Literacy Services, a program of the California State Library.